Welcome back to County Line Sports. I'm your host, Bill Downing. Live in studio, we have the LHS girls soccer team, the seniors, and uh, uh, we got the coach. And you've been here before there, Coach Anderson, and welcome back and congratulations. And I stand corrected, it is six district championships in a row. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thank you for having us on. Oh, absolutely. You know, one of the things that I really enjoy about having you in studio is, uh, you know, no matter the situation, you're very upbeat and ready to go. And uh, I know that your guys are very, very happy. Wet, of course, because of Mother Nature during practice today. Uh, but you, you win the district championship here at home, which is kind of nice. You do it in front of the, the home family. Fans, and then you're going to head over to Claire, which is a place you know very well, uh, against a team that you may not know very well, but you have some connections that had some video on Pinconning. Um, yeah, they played Bay City John Glenn twice um, in the season, and we scrimmaged Bay City John Glenn earlier in the season, and I know their coach very well. Um, when we were Division Two, we actually played John Glenn two years in a row in districts. Um, they beat us both times. Um, and since then, we've kind of struck up a good friendship and kind of keep in touch and, you know, we usually try to play each other once a year. So it's nice that having those connections out there, we can get some information on pin counting. Absolutely. Well, you guys have a couple days, you know, rest from the district championships, and then you guys will travel over to Claire. You pretty much know who your opponents are going to be when, uh, and you pretty much know who your other two that you might have to play uh, in the championships game. Uh, what does uh, pin counting bring to the table that you've been able to see that uh, maybe the girls are used to, like maybe some of the teams you've played here this last season? Um, I think the fact that we know uh, common opponents – that they played Claire, um, you know, they beat Claire 4-0. We had a game against Claire where we beat them 8-0. So it's nice just to have that comfort zone of, you know, okay, common opponent. We know kind of you judge scores, but you can never guarantee anything. Um, we also are comfortable with going over there and playing at Claire. We were there last year for two games, and we've also played quite a bit on turf as well. Um, we had Spring Lake now has turf. We played there. We, we played, you know, at Claire last year. We played at Oak Ridge last year. So the playing surface is also going to help us as well. Does that change uh, the way that you uh, would approach a game compared to, uh, you know, playing on grass or playing on turf? I think what it changes is you're more comfortable with the ball because you're going to get a true roll and a true bounce from the ball, and you're just very confident in, in how the ball is going to come to you. And I think, you know, it helps us. It helps out a team that has better skill maybe mm -hmm. as well. So. Well, one of the things that I notice every year, you have turnover, basically. You know, you have your seniors leaving and uh, others that may move away. Uh, turnover this season, uh, is it uh, – much more this season than it was last season that, that compared to uh, the ones that are leaving the program? Um, it's about the same. You know, I think we have uh, about seven or eight seniors, um, including our exchange student, mm -hmm. and we lost about the same number last year. Um, I think everybody was, I think, a little surprised at you know, how quickly we got to where we needed to be considering mm -hmm. some of the people we lost from last year. But you know, that's how you keep and, you know, things going, keep winning districts is you have the people that are ready to step in and you find the roles that they need to play and that we continue to be successful. And you have a really good JV program, too, with a, with a great coach that I was getting updates to. And uh, you, you have a really good flow of, of kids that are going to be coming up through the system. And, and I think this area, when you take a look at it, tennis is definitely big. But I, I see soccer being one of the things that uh, more kids are uh, starting to play. And I think that's definitely benefiting you and the program. Yeah, very much so. And, you know, we we have good numbers and like you said that JV team kind of them stepping up from there they're ready to step in and ready to you know fill the role we need at varsity well I tell you when you have to choose your captains does it necessarily have to be seniors or is that your choice or do you let them choose uh, who's going to lead the team um, I usually lean on my seniors just from the experience that they've had and also I really emphasize the beginning of the season it's their it's their season it's their year yeah. you know for them to kind of yeah. really lead and what do you want to accomplish as seniors and you know no matter what the record is you know I've talked to you many times you know talking about sports and uh, y you like to win but even if you don't you know, it's still a successful season and these kids you know you're teaching them to play uh, soccer but also to be you know great people when they do leave the program and I think that's definitely an emphasis with you well thanks yeah we I really try to emphasize I, I take a lot from um, John Wooden as far as you know just oh, how yeah. to 
you know, carry yourself and how to move forward in life. And, yeah. you know, everything you do, you just strive to do the best that you possibly can. Well, we're going to bring in the seniors here and the captains, and we'll be talking to uh, Anna, which I want to make sure that I get that correct here uh, toward, the, toward the very end here. We'll be talking to them. But uh, Mackenzie uh, Condit, you're a senior defenseman. It seems like you got a lot of defenders here, but a uh, uh, couple midfielders. I'm not really good with positioning in soccer. When I played soccer, I just kicked it as far as I could. I was <laughs> never good at it. It. Uh, but Mackenzie Condit, uh, being a senior defenseman, uh, center mid, what does that all mean? Is that you only pretty much stay in the center part of the field, or, or what exactly do you do? Yeah, a center mid kind of like they go from uh, penalty box to penalty box, kind of uh, support for the forwards so that when they're up in the offense, they have somebody to drop it to and we can make plays up there. And then we run back and help. We're like the first line of defense, too, right before our defenders. So have you played all four years here at Ludington then? Yeah, I have. And uh, what have you learned the most from this program and being a senior? What are you going to take most out of this when you leave? Because um, you graduated already. Correct? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, so you guys are you guys are doing this, uh, and hopefully we can get a state championship. That would be cool. <laughs> would but be win awesome. or lose, you guys have done really, really wonderful things. But uh, what did, what have you taken from the program uh, the four years you've been here? Um, I think like the teamwork aspect of it. You know, every year is a different team as people move up and seniors graduate and stuff. And every year you kind of find how like what works for the team and what role you need to play with the team, and everybody kind of fills their role. And so I think, like, being able to work as a team is something that I'll take away from. What's your greatest soccer? memory this season? You know, I know I'm sure you've had plenty during uh, the four years at Ludington, but being your senior year, what is the one thing you'll pull away and say, yeah, I remember that probably the rest of my life? Um, I would say we played West Michigan Christian this year, and we knew going in that they were a really good team and that we really had to bring it, and we did bring it that day, and we worked really hard, and we had a few – um, unlucky bounces and stuff, but then we were down a goal and we'd get up, and we were down a goal mm -hmm. and we'd get up, and we ended up beating them. And it was just a really great feeling because everybody on the team worked their heart out, and it was like a great feeling that it actually paid off. Well, I tell you, throughout all these years, you couldn't have done it without the parents and, you know, the, the, the many hours of traveling here and there and the laundry and the food and the snacks and all that stuff. Uh, uh, give a shout-out to, to all the ones that have made this possible for you. Yeah, um... Yeah, we just want to, like, thank our parents for all the hard work they put in and driving to all the games and sitting in the snow and the rain. Snow. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, working hard at those grass stains and our white socks that are never really going to come out. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, we really appreciate all the work that they put into it. Well, you, you win a district championship every year you've been here, so that, that's got to be something that's pretty cool. And now you have a chance to go on, you know, to regionals and, and play Pinconi. Do you, is your approach to any team, is it just basically the same, just go out there and do exactly what you practiced about? I mean, eat pretty much each team, are they similar when you guys get on the field together? Um, or you is know, their approach different? Each team is a little bit different. There are some teams where we have to change our approach a little bit. Like if they have a really good player and we need to make sure we mark them, we have to adjust a little bit. But, um, you know, we talk before every game and we really say the same things. The, like we need to bring the intensity and, you know, mark up and all those things. Those all stay the same. Uh, that's pretty neat. I, I, I never had a chance to play soccer. They wouldn't let me. Like I told you, I just kicked the ball, and I'm like, woohoo, that was good for me. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I've watched you guys many times. I sit up there on the hill with my daughter, and uh, it's pretty impressive to watch, you know, how you guys, you know, function and move the ball and, and do what you do. And uh, you guys got a pretty darn good team. And uh, Pinconning, uh, like Coach says, you know, it's going to be uh, a team that you don't normally see. Uh, and you're going to be out in Clare, which uh, looks like the weather. I did check the weather. Uh, there's no chance, I believe, of rain, I believe. But, again, I'm not Mother Nature. Uh, does your approach change? You know, I asked the coach about turf and to grass. Does anything really change? I mean, cleat size, do you have to change anything in your uh, equipment that you would use? Uh, we don't really change our equipment. We have to be ready. It's going to be a faster game. The ball mm -hmm. rolls a little bit faster on turf. So we have to be ready to play faster and think faster and mark up faster and just do everything quicker. All right. Well, Mackenzie, I, I couldn't thank you enough for being on board. And uh, uh, congratulations and the greatest of success. And I hope that, you know, you guys go all the way and have you guys back in Thanks. here again. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Thanks. All right, Katie Reidenbach. We got the Reidenbach sisters, I believe, in here. And we're going to talk to uh, uh, Katie. And uh, Katie, you're an outside defender. Now, I only think they got a couple, right, on the field. Is there how many how many players are on the field at a time? There's 11, including the goalie. Okay. And you the, normally play what side? 
I'm normally the right side. Okay. And uh, being a defender, you're kind of like the first line of defense, you know, if it gets yeah. to you and uh, so forth. Uh, you got your sister here also, mm -hmm. which I think is kind of neat. I've had a chance to watch her play uh, many sports, especially basketball. Uh, is there any competition between you two? <laughs> um, there's <laughs> always a little bit, but I think we always know that it's just jokingly competition and <laughs> it looks like she plays uh outside mid and you're playing uh do you play any kind of offense whatsoever or you're just strictly defender i used to play offense but now i'm strictly a defender all right so. and you've graduated everybody's graduated here uh, what's your plans after uh the final whistle blows here for soccer um, I plan to go to Grand Valley and study to be a physical therapist. Nice. And believe me, there's plenty of uh, physical therapy needed and, you know, with sports and everything. I think that's a, that's a great future to be into. And uh, uh, when you look at it, you know, growing up with your sister, and I, I did not know that she had a sister that, you know, played soccer with her. I think that's kind of neat. Um, uh, it had to be quite a trek for your parents to get you guys back and forth in all the sports, because I know it's not just one sport, it's multiple sports yeah. that you guys play. Uh, give a shout out to your parents and uh, the ones that made this possible for you. Well, thanks to both my parents, my mom and dad. My mom does like what Mackenzie said was about cleaning our <laughs> socks and our jerseys, of course, because of course we get grass stains and dirt all over them. You need lots of bleach. Well, yeah, especially with two, <laughs> yeah, exactly. two pairs of socks and jerseys. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. You know, I think that, that's really awesome that you're able to do uh, what you're doing. You know, have you played soccer all four years then? Yes. Okay. And uh, you're going into this game just uh, – you're gonna, you're just going to go in there and basically attack it like any other game. I mean, with knowing that – when and you move on, lose and you're done. How much uh, does that weigh on you uh, that, you know, every little thing you do is going to be very important in this game? Yeah, I mean, I've been playing for 14 years, and nice. I love playing this sport, so I'm going to miss it a lot. And I know once I go on to Grand Valley, I might play some soccer, but I'm not going to play for them. But it's going to be a huge change. You're still going to play sports, though, like the intramurals oh, yeah. and all that Definitely. stuff they got there. Absolutely. Well, that's awesome. I, I Congratulations on all your success. And uh, uh, it, it, the book is not uh, done yet, so I think that this could be a great game in Claire. Because I know I was talking to Coach last year, and uh, playing on grass, I, I played one football game when I grew up in Chicago every year on turf, and I hated it. Uh, do you <laughs> like playing on turf at all? Does it, um, does it really matter to you? I mean, I like it because, like what Coach said, it's a lot smoother and – a lot more smooth passes and the ball bounces a little bit better mm -hmm. but it is a faster pace so that's something to get used to as you play well congratulations there katie Thank and you. uh we'll we'll bring in uh, your sister uh christian and uh you know i've had a chance to watch you play basketball and uh some of these other sports uh how fun is it to play with your sister you know it's a, it's a change of pace because i mean you go from playing basketball and, and you just with a big group of people and then you come come off and you're and you're with your sister again and it's it's just fun because it, especially like in practices you go you go through it and you have that intensity and yeah. sometimes we get lucky where we get yeah. paired up and it's just a different, different well, i've seen you game. play basketball and i've seen your intensity there do you bring that same to the table for soccer too yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and uh you know obviously you've played all four years uh yeah um I'm, I wasn't able to my um, freshman year due to injury. What, what was that? It was a knee. Yeah, my knee injury. That's right. That's right. And how hard was it to sit out and watch? Oh, it was really hard watching all my friends and everybody just start out. But you, you learned, though. I mean, you probably yeah. just didn't sit at home and say, ah, you know, whatever. You probably were at the games and yeah. probably watching and still learning. That That's pretty cool. Because I, I, I've actually seen some people, you know, especially in professional sports, as soon as they get hurt, you don't see them again. Yeah. You know, but I think it's important to stay within the system, too. And being a senior, uh, you're an outside mid. What is What exactly position is that? Um, I'm part of the front line on the offense, and so um, – I'm one of the outs outside, obviously. Is but, there a um, center? Is, what, what do they, yeah, is that what they, they call? Yeah, okay. they'll, they'll be the forwards, and I'm kind of the, like an assistant off okay. to the side that, that helps um play, help like function with the ball of the, on the oh, that's line. Cool. <laughs> no, that, that, that's cool. That's very well said because I would have been just like, okay, put me anywhere and I'm just going <laughs> to kick the ball. But positioning-wise, you have to know where your limits are, where you can. And can you pretty much go anywhere you want, or is there – kind of limitations because like in hockey you know that you can only go you should only go so far without putting mm -hmm. your team at risk i mean is there a certain area that is yours basically 
Um, usually I'll play from um, I'll go from defense to all the way to the offensive end, but um, you you don't usually cross over. You'll stay to right. your side, so I'll either be on the left or the right. Yeah. What was your uh, biggest moment that you bring out through this last season? Uh, do you have any uh, spectacular goals like Pele jump in the air and aerial kicks? You got any <laughs> of that stuff? I wish. I mean, I, I I have helped more with like assisting and really running down the ball and helping other people out with their goals. That's cool. And what are you going to be doing after uh, after uh, the final whistle blows? Um, I'll be attending Kelvin College next year and um, hopefully playing um, basketball for them. You signed you signed with them, did yes, you not? Yes, I, I, did. I thought I saw that. And uh, are you going to play any other sports, or is it strictly basketball? Um, strictly basketball. That's cool. Well, you do a great job. I've had Thank a chance you. to call you. I think you've been what varsity three, three uh, years was uh, it with the with the varsity team for basketball? Uh, four years. Four years. Mm-hmm. So you it was soccer was your injury was mm-hmm. after okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty cool, and I've had a chance Thank to call you. every one of your games, which I think is amazing. And uh, quickly, uh, away from soccer, what is your best memory for basketball? Basketball, I was probably my um, freshman year when we had such a great team and, mm-hmm. and that um, game with um, Manistee where we won districts. That was probably one of my favorite memories. Absolute thorn in our side, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they're graduating, right? Yes, um, the oldest, Emily, um, Emily Cott, will be graduating well maybe it's time to swing it back this way then that that would be really good i know you guys put great effort into it and uh congratulations to you and you know when i was talking to to katie about your parents and stuff you know they've had to do an awful lot not with just one but two kids Mm -hmm. doing it uh how important was it to have them in your corner with everything you do they just they're so supportive and, and you need people around you like that and it's and it's I wouldn't be where I'm at today without them. Absolutely. Very well said. And I know they come to all your games. Mm Mm-hmm. And they're probably the ones screaming. I can hear them while I'm broadcasting. Yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. And congratulations to you, and we Thank hope the you. very best. And, you know, when you're at uh, uh, Calvin, was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. Because we don't talk hope, right? They're no. Your, they're your rival. Yeah. Uh, when you get there, uh, maybe you come back on, and we'll talk about, you know, what's going on with you. Okay. Now we're going to bring in Anna, and I'm going to make sure that I get this right. Uh, Bredemeyer, correct? Uh, Is that much, close? Yeah. Close, yeah. Good job. Uh, what, tell me how I should say it. Uh, I want to make sure I get it right. Before this interview is over, I'm going to do that. Uh, Anna Bredemeyer. Okay. I'm going to let you take care of it then. But <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, uh, Well, first of all, welcome to the show. And Thanks. you're a foreign exchange student. You're from Germany. Right. And you, did you play soccer while you were over there at all? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the difference between soccer there compared to here? Well, we don't really play like at high school, or whatever. We, do, we don't have high school sports. So Is it club like basically? Yeah, right. Yeah, we play in okay. clubs, and um, we don't have season, so we play like all year. That's kind of different, and um, yeah, that's pretty much. The you most play thing. year round. Yeah. Don't you have snow and stuff on the ground there, too? Well, we play indoor then. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Indoor soccer. Now, that's got to be fun, too. It is, yeah. Uh, that's pretty cool. So w- w- what made you come from Germany to come to Ludington to, uh, to do school? Um, well, I was always, ca- always kind of interested in, like, different countries, especially the U.S. So I thought it was a good chance to, like, um, get to know the culture and everything. And I really wanted to attend, like, a high school. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I decided to do this program. Well, was it, is it a program that picks the school for you? or um, I mean, because there's yeah, so many like, places in the U.S. you could go. Right. Like, um, normally, um, you can decide, like, kind of the part of the um, country, but I just, like, let um, the organization cho- choose. So That's cool. they Yeah, they choose, like, my um, school and stuff or, like, um, my... Um, house family they chose my house family that's what i was going to ask you how long have you been here um since august 2015 and your house family basically you know like in sports they have billet families and stuff that you go to Uh, who's your house family um the wards nice yeah (laughs) and they were ones that had to probably take you all over the place and and do all that stuff i'm really grateful that they support me now do you cook no, I'm awful. So you came here, <laughs> and you had to uh, eat all the American food. Yeah. Uh, did you miss your home cooking? Uh, for sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have, like, some different stuff, and yeah. I really miss that. Well, that's pretty neat. Yeah. Well, playing with these girls and, and you being a senior and so forth, uh, what's some of the greatest memories you're going to take away from uh, from these girls here? Because, you know, uh, th- this is a pretty neat chance for you. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people, I- I've run into uh, – 
other exchange students that you know just just come here just for the experience and really don't do much with the and it, it, they do a lot but they don't play the sports they'll do other things uh you came here to play sports how important was that for you um like pretty important like when the tryout starts i was kind of excited and stuff i really wanted to get into the team and everything so yeah it's a huge thing. well you got this scary title here you're an attacking midfielder what yeah. does that mean well, I kind of try to open the game and, okay. like, switch fields and everything, and, yeah. You try to keep the ball on their side of, of the midfield, basically. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's pretty neat. So, um, being here, uh, you, gra you graduated, obviously, yeah. correct? So now what happens? Um, um, well, I just graduated here in America. I'm actu actually 16 years old, so I still have three years left in Germany. Really? Because I have to redo my year. It doesn't count for me here. So, yeah. Whereabouts in Germany are you from? Um, kind of the north part, like, I don't know, Hanover, it's mm -hmm. kind of cold, or Hamburg, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had friends that were stationed there in the military. I, I can't remember exactly where uh, where that is, but uh, they absolutely love it over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when are you? When do you have to go back, or, um, or don't you have to? I, yeah, I do. You um, do? Eight days. I have eight days left. So eight days I left? June 14th, yeah. Okay, what happens if they go on and play after June 14th? Can you just say, I'm uh, not leaving yet, well, I want to play? I think it's the possible to change my uh, flight, but it would cost money and stuff, so I really hope we win, but, you know, Hey, we'll, we'll do a GoFundMe for you to stay here to play. I guarantee <laughs> right. it. We're going to keep you here for the <laughs> duration. Great, That's thanks. really cool. Well, Anna, I, again, I, I, I don't want to butcher the last name. I really do appreciate <laughs> Um, everything that you do and uh, you. you know I, I, I think this is a great opportunity for you and uh, we're gonna bring in Hannah Peterson she is a senior defensive center mid there's a lot of titles there uh, <laughs> what exactly I mean do you do you play side by side with any one of these ladies here um, my position was the same as Mackenzie's uh, okay. um, we're in the middle of there, and then Anna would be ahead of us. Like She's the attacking, and we're defensive. We're all center mids. Oh, that's nice. And, well, do you play, do you play a rough game out there? I mean, I've seen – I've actually sat there, and my daughter was like, who is that screaming out there? I'm like, hey, believe me, it's a tactic that they use or whatever they do. Uh, are you one of those aggressive uh, players out there? I mean, because I've seen – when people say tackles, you know, in football, you know what tackles are. It's totally different in soccer. Are you one of those that will just – go for the ball and you know it is what it is my attempt is to go for the ball but sometimes <laughs> there might be some collision there uh have you ever had what they call the yellow or those do they do that in high school yeah sports? they do yeah have you seen one of them on any team or anything you've played have you seen any of that yeah we've seen them really <laughs> yeah. i actually saw and i'll and i'll be honest with you i was down in muskegon and i actually saw someone get kicked out of a game for mm -hmm. a tackle uh and the ball was nowhere near them so I guess that's frowned upon, I guess, that you can't yeah, do that. Yeah, just a little you bit. Can't do that. <laughs> uh, so what are your plans after uh, uh, you've obviously graduated? What, what's your plans uh, after high school now? Um, I'm going to Baker College in Muskegon, and I'm also studying physical therapy. Nice. Well, I tell you, that, again, there's a long list of people that need help out there, especially, uh, you know, the older the, uh, the people get and the sports injuries and so forth. I think that is really neat. Cause I've been through multiple therapy sessions with my back surgeries and my knee reconstruction, and I don't know how you guys do it <laughs> because I went in there grumpier than you know what, and you put a smile on the face, and I'm like, I don't know how they do that. But uh, how long is it going to take you for you to get that uh, uh, um, the, the degree actually for that? Um, first, I'm going to get a physical therapy assistant, which is two years, and then I'll work with that and see if I want to go farther. You're going to try to stay local then after you get your uh, um, degree? I'll just go wherever, wherever there's an opening. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, your parents, again, you know, I, I don't know. How, how many uh, brothers and sisters do you have? Um, three. Wow. So yeah. do they all play sports? Uh, yes. Okay. So a very busy uh, mom and dad. Yeah. And uh, give a shout out to your parents and everyone that, you know, has made it possible to get to this point. Yeah. I just want to thank them so much, especially with all the kids and all the driving they've gone, gone to over the years. And, um thousands of miles i'm sure <laughs> i bet has to be yeah well all i can say is uh congratulations best of success there at, at baker and uh are you gonna play any other sports after you leave here um just intramural and and what is one of your best memories you're gonna pull from this last season um, or your or however long you've been playing what is the the best memory you're gonna remember um 
I'm going to go just from this season. Um, and when we played Oak Ridge, uh, we played them home here, and it was a very, very physical game the whole game long. And That was the two overtime, right? Um, it says well, at least the MHSA, and I, and yeah, I don't okay. know if that's correct, but how do you go two overtimes? And, and win two to nothing. Is there a sudden death? I mean, if you score, is the game over, or is it you got to play the duration of the clock? Yeah, you do two 10 minute halves, okay. and then whoever is up at okay. the end of that is the winner. Oak Ridge, again, a, a thorn in everybody's side <laughs> here in West Michigan. It had to feel pretty good to beat them. Uh, it did, especially with the way the team was acting, too. It was a awesome. Oh, win. that's awesome. <laughs> well, you got Pinconin coming up. You win uh, another district championship. What are you looking forward to the most on Wednesday? Just playing with my team and playing as the best we can, and hopefully we'll come out with that win. Oh, that's awesome. And, you know, you got uh, uh, to get you to this point, you got this guy sitting right here, you know, and (laughs) I always ask, I always ask this, uh, uh, for your coach uh, and all the effort and hours he puts into it, uh, uh, give a shout-out to your coach as he's sitting (laughs) here and and let him know, uh, you know, it's – I always thought that the coaches, because you see them only during practices and during games, uh, but I'm sure there's hours of prep work yeah, and paperwork definitely. and all the stuff that he's got to do too. Uh, he puts a lot of effort into this program, and he's a very passionate coach, and he does a great job. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, he, he knows it, and I'm not trying to make him uh, shed tears or anything, but I, I, I always do this because, you know, he does put a lot of work into everything he does. And uh uh, that's I think is a lot of, su- of the success is you know you have to have good coaching. Yeah, definitely. And he's definitely I got to say he's probably one of the best. At least I've known him during this period of time. I think he is the very best. Well, all I can say is uh, Hannah, congratulations. We wish you the very best. And he's yeah, this is going to be good. <laughs> I'm going to s- swing it back here to the coach. And uh, well, coach, you know y- you've got your seniors. You- you've got uh, Anna, which I think is a great great story because. I don't get a chance to talk to too many of the exchange students, but I think that's really ne- a really neat story. And uh, um, when you the final whistle does blow and you get ready for, are you already preparing basically for next season? I mean, with the kids, you know who's coming in and you know who's leaving. <laughs> um, not necessarily preparing. I mean, you want to enjoy the moment that you right, have and do right. the best you can. But yeah, you always you know try to um, bring girls along to you know, get the experience and feel what it's going to be like so they're ready to step in, you know, for those roles um, that we're going to be losing. But, you know, still right now you want to enjoy the moment yeah. with the kids you have. Well, and the thing is, I think a lot of these kids, they probably stay in touch and say, hey, coach, how are you doing? You know, I think the relationships you build are probably a lifetime uh, relationship with these with these kids. Yeah, and, you know, just kind of a, a moment that's kind of like that. Um, Maddie Brocklebank, who was on the team last year, yep. you know, she's now down in Miami of Ohio, and uh, just before actually our district finals, she sent a message, you know, f- to me and for the whole team, just that's as cool. far as, you know, hey, good luck, and you know, w- thinking of you, and hope everything goes well. So. Well, that's awesome. Uh, that that's really good to hear. And coach, you know, I, I can't thank you enough for taking time out of your busy schedule, you know, right before the uh, regional start and to coming on the, to the show to, to let everybody in on, you know, what LHS soccer is. And uh, I really appreciate you stopping by and bringing uh, these great kids along. I think you know, you've got, you've built a great tradition here and I think there's a lot, you know, more success coming. Well, thanks for having us on. We appreciate it. Absolutely. We'll be right back with more County Line Sports right after this. Stay tuned.